how's everyone doing on this Saturday? I'm just gonna pin my website if it will let me. Let's see. It's supposed to give you options to pin it. Why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to cancel. <laughs> well, it's Saturday night. Sorry, it's a beautiful night in Cincinnati. Um, I've been working around the house all day and uh, did a lot of work, did a lot of purging, did a lot of organizing. Um, very, very exciting. Very exciting stuff. It was hot. Um, I did a hair mask today and it made my hair like really shiny and soft. Like the white is like white, almost, it's kind of getting kind of gray, but I don't mind. Um, I actually want more white, like some more white over here. But um, we're gonna do the perfecting mask. As you know, it's June 1st, happy June. I can't believe it's June already. Crazy. I mean, time just fly is flying, flying by. Don't you agree? I mean, I think the older I get, the faster time goes. But the, I don't mind having birthdays now. I enjoy them. So I got a new sign behind me. It says, today I choose joy. You can't really see the full thing, but I'll show you guys uh, when I'm done uh, with the mask. Um, it's really cool. I can't wait till I get my actual room and then I'll be able to set it up and you can see the full sign. But I thought it was kind of fun to have a really nice saying because you should choose joy and be happy. It uh, takes a lot less effort to be happy than to be sad or angry or mad. So I think that's a proven fact. So we're gonna do the perfecting mask. I mean, I'm sorry, the um, brightening mask. Now we have a uh, kudos this month, starting this month. It is the um, choice of any one of our four masks. Um, we have the brightening mask, the exfoliating mask, which I've done, which is amazing. It makes your skin feel so soft. The perfecting mask, which I've also done is really great. Also makes your, cell, your face feel soft and it really cleans out your pores and it just really leaves your face feeling really fresh. And then we have the brightening mask, which I used at one time, and it really did lighten my um, dark circles, and it really does brighten your face, which is uh, amazing. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try and do this every two weeks, I think. But the kudos, oh, we have an oil-free mask. Hey girl, hey Wendy. I hope you're outside. Uh, with your phone enjoying this weather it's really nice um i was just started to talk about our kudos you can get any one of our four masks which is a it's a full mask you get the full bottle of the full mask um the oil mask which i haven't done because i'm not oily i'm very dry the exfoliating the brightening and the perfecting and then you also get oh you're inside in the air conditioning good me too man it's been hot like all of a sudden hot but at least, uh, I think the storms are supposed to hit us later. Um, and it's supposed to be stormy tomorrow. And I think it's supposed to be stormy Monday too. I'm not sure. Welcome to Cincinnati summers. Um, I guess, I think we missed spring. We just skipped spring. I'm not sure, you know, in Cincinnati. So, um, it comes with a four masks. It comes with a BB cream. And we have, I think we have five choices of the of BB cream, the color. Let me see. I know I would be a medium. I don't see the BB cream. Hold on. I think we have five choices. There's a light, there's a medium, there's a darker, and then there's a really dark. It might just be four. Let me check. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I was on the wrong thing. Oh, we have six options. Oops, my bad. Let's see. We have a really light, 
a cool ivory. We have a warm beige. Um, I think I would be the warm beige. We have the honey, a warm tan, uh, caramel, which is like a cool golden, uh, chestnut, which is like a warm almond. And we have, um, carob, which is like a deep walnut. So those are really going to be really good. Like a BB cream is going to be really good for summer. I'm really excited because you know how I, I really like the quick glam. I like just to put on some powder, um, some blush, a little bit of eyeshadow, maybe a little bit of eyeliner, mascara, and some lips. So I am really excited to get my BB cream because I think that might even give me more of a coverage than just powder. But it's going to be, it's a great option for summer because it's really light and um, airy and it's just gonna be a lot lighter than like a full coverage uh, foundation. So that comes in the kudos, plus it, we have our SPF powder, which is really, um, it's really cool. It comes like in the brush already, which is really neat. I'm gonna find a picture of it and show you it. And it has SPF. I think it's like 24 SPF. Which is really neat. And it's really cool. It's already in the brush. And you just like shake it. And it comes out. Let me get a picture of that. I'm just trying to find out where it would be. But let's see. I know I've seen it before. I'll just get a picture of it real quick. It's called the Touch Behold SPF, oh, it's 25 Broad Spectrum Finishing Powder. And if you could see right here, this right here, see how it comes in the brush already? And you just shake it and it, excuse me, I gotta plug in my laptop or my uh, iPad. And it uh, just comes right out on the brush. And that's really great for summer too because it has SPF 25, which, you know, we all want to protect our face. I mean, I rarely get my face tanned because I want to protect it. Um, you know, I want to keep those lines where they are and not get more. <laughs> so you get a mask, you get a BB cream, which is like $49. And the... Um, mask it i mean i'm sorry the bb cream is 39 the mask is like 49 so that's like 88 already there and then you basically get the powder for free the kudos this month is 88 dollars, but you actually get like a 30 percent savings because you get a whole product free so that's going to run all month of june um i'm going to go ahead and put the mask on there's hockey on tonight it's all tied up very very exciting I don't have the applicator but with this one I think it's fine to and again this smells so nice but yeah I'm excited to get my kudos because it's really hot here in Cincinnati and I can't wait just to have like a really quick look with the BB cream and that powder and I'm gonna really enjoy you know, protecting my face during the summer with that SPF 25. And I can't wait to get my exfoliating mask. I love that mask. It is just amazing. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna get my trusty mirror. But that perfecting mask is, I mean, I'm sorry, the exfoliating mask is amazing. So I did a hair mask tonight, Wendy. I did uh, that keratin hair mask. And it made my hair really shiny and soft. Can you see the white? Like, 
And it was really easy. You just leave it on for like five minutes and you brush it through. This mask feels, feels so good. It smells so good. We gotta get really this area with a... I'm golden. I'm gonna have to order another one of these. This is where I have, like I have all sorts of things popping up. I'm getting all these bites on me. I don't know what that's, all these mosquito bites I'm finding on me. I'm like, it's so gross. I had to find our hydrocortisone. It was so, it's just gross. Like I have them on my stomach. Like where are they coming from? I gotta totally debug my house. Ugh. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got everything. The main areas, it's pushing around my eyes, but not in your eye. My forehead got good. Oh, I was uh, shaving my face today and I actually shaved off a little bit of my hair over here. Oops. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day today. I do want to uh, shout out to um, Dayton. They had a ton of tornadoes that hit there. I think, I think they counted it as like 11 tornadoes touched down. They're in really need of some help. Um, if you can, I think, you know, you can go on the Red Cross and um, donate money or uh, donate water. I know they need bottles of water. They need uh, toiletries like toilet paper, toothpaste, toothbrushes. I'm sure if you Google, you know, Dayton tornado relief, there'll be a bunch of sites that pop up to donate. But I know the Red Cross is taking money and donations. Hi, Tina. I could see everyone because uh, I was uh, putting on the mask. Nice to see you. We need to do lunch sometime. I'm only in the office Monday and Tuesday, and I think we're moving in uh, July. So um, I don't know where you guys are going, but uh, when was it? Tuesday in the office, I thought that the uh, air conditioner was gonna break. It was so loud. But um, I'm doing our perfecting mask. I'm sorry, I keep saying the wrong thing. It's our brightening mask. Um, it's really good. It works to brighten your, um, you know, your brown spots and any imperfections you have on your face, color imperfections. Um, I know I've recently got some brown spots over here and here. Um, I find new, like, freckles, moles popping up, like, all the time. And I'm really supposed to go get tested because my sister had melanoma, but, well, I haven't been in a while, but I figured, oops, I figured the chemo kind of took care of that, but I should probably really go get checked. So we're just gonna let this dry. I might've put too much on my, oh, it's drying, on my forehead. So it's gonna brighten my face and get keep lightening those spots. We're gonna do before and after. I really should take uh, some before and after pictures. But um, yeah, make sure you try and check out those sites to uh, volunteer for uh, to help Dayton out. They were they were hit really really hard. But. Um, you get a, I repeat it again. Uh, I don't know if Tina saw this. You get uh, a full mask and one of our kudos, a BB cream and an SPF um, finishing powder. And, and it's $88 and basically uh, you get the finishing powder for free. So um, like I said, I'm really excited for some hockey tonight. Um, I actually think we're gonna build a fire. Um, I don't think the storms are supposed to hit till like later, later, like in the, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. 
so we're just hanging out. We cleaned our house today. I, I purged a lot. I mean, a lot. It was really nice. It's nice to be organized. <laughs> and of course, I had to watch some of my Game of Thrones. I am up to season three, episode five. And I just, I know, I don't know. I know Wendy doesn't watch. I don't know if Tina watches or anyone on here that watches. Um, I love Daenerys. I know she turns kind of evil and crazy, but oh my God, she is the best. She is trying to find an army to go get her throne back. And she goes to this country and this guy, he's like a real chauvinist pig. And he's saying all these mean things about her and he thinks that she doesn't know what he's saying. But in reality, she knows everything he's saying. So she schemes. She's like, I'll give you, like all his, I'll go back, all his soldiers are slaves. And she's really disturbed by that. So she says, I will give you, she's like the mother of the dragons. Um, she has three dragons. So she's like, I'll give you one of my dragon. He's like, well, I want the biggest one. She's like, okay, I'll give you the biggest one. And so she gives him the dragon and he gives her all the soldiers and she's like, they're mine now. And he's like, yes. And she starts talking to them in uh, the language of the country. And he's like, oh my God. He's like, yes. She's like, yes, I am. Her ancestors are from this country and it was her second language. Well, she turns to the soldiers and she's like, attack anyone that was your master and that that treated you like a slave and so the soldiers like attack all the slave owners and the dragon the main guy the guy in charge the dragon spits fire on him and kills him and so she has all the soldiers and she's like will you fight uh, you're free you're free to go i'm not going to treat you like a slave anymore she's like will you fight will you fight as a free man for me? And they all like fight, you know, stay with her and fight. So now she has like 8,000 soldiers. She has her dragons and um, she's just a badass. Like she's just really, I, she's really pretty. Um, and she has a heart. So I don't, I don't know how she turns crazy, but I'll have to keep watching. Like it's so hard to stop watching because every episode they end and it's like, they end at the uh, crucial part and you're like, oh my God, I got to watch the next one. And it's really, really graphic. Like this guy, they cut off his hand and then they made him ride the horse because he's like a prisoner. They made him ride the horse with his hand. I'm like, oh, okay. But they show all this. <laughs> but um, it's really, really, it's really a good story. So it's fun. It's a fun story. Um, but I don't know what else is out there to watch. I don't know. What other series? I know HBO is going to have some stuff. Come on. That's um, Alexa Volume 3. Um, I have my Pearl Jam on. It's kind of a, a really rock song. I'm not sure what's on, what song it is. I'll have to listen. But um, HBO has some shows coming up that Jeff and I both watch. Um, we watched The Young Pope. Um, oh, Big Little Liars is coming back. That's a great show. Um, when did you watch that? Does anyone watch Big Little Liars? Oh, that's a great show. It's really good. Nicole Kinman's great. She's amazing. Um, The Deuce. I think that's all that we really started watching on HBO. I still watch my HGTV. You know, I can't get away from that. Um, we're in the process of redoing our downstairs bathroom. And I say in the process loosely, <laughs> we've torn down like all the cabinets. And um, I know we have completely different tastes in TV. You like the cop shows and like the army shows. I like like drama, and, but not, I mean, I would, you know, actually Blue Bloods, isn't that the show that you watch? That, um, that seems like a good show. Um, Actually, I could feel the mask tightening on my face, so that's good. But um, 
I would watch Blue Bloods. Um, what's his name? Marky Mark. I know he doesn't like to be called Marky Mark. Uh, Donnie Wahlberg is in that. And what's the guy, the guy from Friends that was Monica's boyfriend? Oh, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. And then um, Bridget Monahan's in that, I think. Actually, I did watch Chicago PD for a while. I watched all the Chicago shows. Chicago Fire. Um, that was a really good show. Chicago PD. But then I just... It's just too much TV. You know what I mean? I like to tape things and watch them at, at my leisurely. Um, I did watch my Bachelorette. Um, I really like Hannah. She kind of just says what she thinks. She told this one guy that he was uh, scamming and that his he just felt sneaky, like his story. And he did. He was gross. Like, you think the Chicago shows are, shows are cheesy? Well, you know the one guy on the Chicago Fire used to be engaged to Lady Gaga? He's hot. I can't remember his name. But now I just like watch, I've been watching sports a lot. And uh, HGTV, I do watch American Idol. Um, although my sister told me to check out on America's Got Talent, the autistic and the blind uh, gentleman that sang she said it. it's a really touching moment. Um, so I'm going to have to Google that. I don't know. Wendy, did you see that? Tina, did you see that? Your cousin's an actor in one of the episodes of Chicago Fire? That's cool. What cousin? That's neat. I didn't know that. Very exciting. So I can feel the mask tightening. You can see it's tightening on my... Um, Wrinkles um, right here. I have wrinkles right here. Must be a family trait. I don't know. Yeah, it's getting hard. The mask is getting hard and um, it's tightening. Um, so I don't know if you guys um, know what, Wendy? Oh, his name is Matthew. Oh, he works for Second City. How fun. We should go up there and see him. Chicago's a great city. Love, love, love. I've all, well, I used, I've been there for Jeff's food show, um, the annual restaurant food show, and I've been there to see Pearl Jam. And the last time I went to see Pearl Jam, I got to see more of the city, which was cool. But um, usually I'm just like in and out, you know, have an agenda when I go. So it's nice. I'd like to go and take Max and go to some of the museums and hang out in the parks downtown and just really see more of the city. Um, I think Jeff and I are going to go to Nashville in uh, July, like the beginning of July. Um, he won a trip through his work and we've never seen Nashville. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited to see the city of Nashville and get away with my husband. Um, just have to find somewhere for Max to stay or we could bring him. Um, I want to see Elvis's house, uh, Graceland. I want to hear some great blues music. Uh, I want to eat some good food. I just heard Nashville's a really, really fun city. And then in August, I'm going to Florida, uh, Rosemary Beach, Destin, which uh, I'm really, really excited. I love the ocean. Um, I find it really calming. I love the beach. I just can't w get, wait to get away like on a long vacation. It will be really nice. Oh, Elvis is in Memphis. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay, Graceland is in Memphis. Oops. <laughs> well, something's in Nashville. What's in Nashville? Uh, great music. Isn't the um, Grand Ole Opry in Nashville? Please say yes. Please say yes. <laughs> I'm silly. Um, I know the Grand Ole Opry's in Nashville. It's the music capital. Um. I heard Memphis is really fun too, but we're going to go to Nashville. 
Oh, shake my head, Wendy, shake my head. <laughs> the grand old Aubrey, yeah. Um, I'm not really into country music, but I like blues. So hopefully we can find like a jazzy blues place to hear music. And I think the Who is gonna be there, but I don't know which weekend. We were trying to find like a really good music act, but then we were just like, you know, we gotta go when we can go. Cause Jeff can't get away in June cause everyone's going on vacation in June. August, beginning of August, we're going to Florida. I don't want to go like in like October or November when it's cold. So the you know we have our nie my niece is getting married July nineteenth, so it's gonna have to be beginning of July. Over like Fourth of July, I think. Oh, cause we get it. When is Fourth of July? When does it fall on? What day? I don't know what day it falls on. I don't have my calendar. Um. Cause usually we get that off. Is it a weekday? I don't know. I have to look. Do I have a calendar on here? Oh, where's my calendar? I know I have one on my phone, which I can't use. I don't know when 4th of July is. Isn't that funny? I don't think I have a calendar on here. I have a clock. Oh, yeah, I do. It's right here. Duh. Um, let's see. How do you transfer? Nope. I don't want to create an event. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're in July. Oh, July 4th is on a Thursday. Oh, we get that off. Ooh, maybe we can go Thursday. Oh, do we want to really travel July 4th, though? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, we could go Thursday night and come back Sunday. That would work. We'd have to really, yeah, I don't know if we would want to travel July 4th. I don't know. I wonder if that's really expensive to travel on July 4th. I'm not sure. We'll have to see, but that's on a Thursday. That's kind of cool it falls on a Thursday. I, I work for uh, a bank during the week and uh, we get bank holidays, which is really nice. So, Matt, Wendy, have you done that keratin mask for your hair? I really like it. I mean, look how it made it so soft and shiny, like, it's, it, it really, really helped my hair because it's so, my hair's so coarse from chemo and all the medicine. Let's see if it's, oh, it's pretty hard. I really need it to work over here. Work, 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 work. <laughs> I think we can probably peel it off. Let's see. Oh, Alexa, volume four. This is a beautiful song by Pearl Jam. It's called Just Breathe. It reminds me of my mom. Three times what? You've used it three times? The, uh, the mask? I really like it. That's a good product to invest. Well, I've never done a mask on my hair, so um, it just really changed the whole texture, which is nice. You know? I don't know why the iPad shuts down. Like, I have to restart it. And it's it's not a touch one like my other one. Like my phone. my phone, Or a face. Face recognized. I can open my a phone with my face. And now I have to find the internet. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, so I have a party, but it's gonna end on Monday, but I'll probably start another one. Uh, if you guys wanna go and check out the site, uh, uniqueproducts.com, Michelle Mankey. And um, lots of good things in June. The uh, 4D mascara will be back June 5th. 
which is very exciting. Um, all the um, all the cream uh, foundations are back in, which is really cool. And that the cream foundation is almost like a, it's like a full coverage. So the BB cream is a lighter coverage, and it's really light uh, on your face. Okay, let's let's try and peel this off. I feel it tightened. So we could do that. Let's see. I always get it in my hair. Oh, there we go. I tried to put my mirror up so I wouldn't be bending down. So you guys would see my bald spots. But my hair today looks nice and fluffy and pretty and soft. It looks really soft. I'm very excited about that. The mask really, it peels off easily. Alexa, volume three. I love doing masks. I really had a, me, a pamper me day. But you know, I worked hard, I organized things. I got rid of stuff. I deserved a little pampering. I have more to do. I just thought I'd take a little break and uh, do a little mask and say hello, see how everyone's doing, enjoying their, their weekend, their Saturday. It's nice in uh, Cincinnati. comes off really easy. I have no water with me and no washcloth, so <laughs> I'm not very prepared. prepared. Oh well. Just peels off. I'm trying not to out. So you see my hair, I'm trying not to like look down. Wow, that did like brighten it up. This leaves your face really soft too. I got it all on my eyebrows. This is going to take me a minute to peel off. <laughs> it's all right. So, I don't know if you guys, I don't know, my friend Wendy was telling me that Kanye West goes out and leads, like, services at the desert, and that all these people, all these stars go. I think that's hysterical. I think that's hysterical that he preaches and that, like, all these celebrities go. I don't know if I'd want to hear Kanye preaching. <laughs> I think that would be kind of funny. Then <laughs> in the desert, that's kind of eerie. That's kind of cultish, you know? Let's go pray, I don't know, let's go pray in the desert. I don't know. A little cray cray to me, it's a little cray cray. <laughs> So I'm really not peeling it off gracefully, but I'm peeling it off. If you can be more graceful, you can be more graceful. Graceful is not my uh, middle name. <laughs> I'm a klutz. But I own it. So I own it. <laughs> This is one of our ma our only masks that peels off. Very much a cult, yeah. I think it's cultish too. I think I just pulled my hair out. 
got it too close to my hair. My husband's working outside. He just came in. Is it hot out? No, but I'm dressed. Yeah. My husband's name is Jeff. Hi. If no one, he said hi. I'll just have to use a, a washcloth to get that off close to my eye. Or my hair. I got it too close to my hair. I don't know, I guess if you have money, you can go <clears throat> start a church and uh, go pray out in the desert. <laughs> I did shave my face today. It peels off really easily when you don't get it so close to your hair. But it did make my, made my forehead look really nice. I don't know what Okay, I gotta take my glasses off to do this. Around my eyes and my nose. And this mask, it smells really good. It has a citrusy smell. Like really clean. See that came up. That'll come off in a big piece. My son is at a birthday party, and my dad next week or tomorrow sorry my dad turns uh 83 tomorrow which is crazy oh see it comes off in a big piece here we go you just have to practice at it <laughs> So yeah, my dad's turning 83 tomorrow. And he's so funny. He uh, he has a girlfriend and she lives in Louisville. So he drives down to see her because she won't drive up here. I don't, she drove up here once, once. But he drives down there, so. And they go to shows and movies and, you know, they used to, um, they've been to Florida together. They've traveled together. Um, she's funny. Um, she's a hoot and she keeps him in line. Like, you know, his birthdays, Marla got him a gift card. I think she got him a gift card to Macy's, um, or no, to Netflix. But he was talking and she owed him some money from our football pool. So she sent him a check and he was, he was talking about how he had to go to Macy's to get shorts because Marianne was giving him a hard time about his shorts. <laughs> so we're like, oh, she's good for that, for keeping him in line. That's funny. <laughs> well, you know, he's 82. Well, I mean, he's going to be 83. And, like, he does his own laundry and stuff. You know, he has a cleaning lady. Uh, you know, he still drives, but oh my God, I won't drive with him. Um, but, uh, he, um, sorry, my notes are just, um, just looking at, it does brighten your face up. Cause I didn't have any make, you know, well, of course I didn't have any makeup on. I'm telling you, these masks have really helped my, they've really helped my pores out. So, you know, my dad has to go to, um, said he had to go to Macy's to buy more shorts because Marianne was giving him a hard time about his shorts. And, you know, he like, I know he does his own laundry. I don't know if he sprays his clothes because he always has like, like spots on his pants. His pants are too short. Um, 
So who knows what his shorts look like? They might all be stained up. I don't know. But, you know, he is 83. So I'm thankful that Marianne keeps him in line to uh, dress nicer. <laughs> So I got him, I'm going to have to go get him a little gift card to Macy's, but um, I got him, I have a uh, holder on the back of my phone, a pop socket, I don't know what they're called. Is it called a pop socket? It might be. Um, I can't see comments. Uh, a pop socket and he's like, oh, what's that on your phone? And he had never seen it and he's like, oh, I want one. So like I went on Amazon and I, he really is into flying planes. He has his own plane. Like it's, it's big, you know, um, he's in a club and he goes and he flies his planes and he's really into it. You know, it gave him a really nice hobby. I mean, he has lots of hobbies. He has, he has lots of friends through that and he, go, he belongs to these clubs, these other clubs, like an indoor flying club. So he has like a little helicopter to fly. He has a boat that he built that he takes out, like a little boat. Um, he builds planes. Like, you know, it's really good because he's still really active. Um, so he saw my pop socket and he wanted, he wanted one. So I went on to Amazon and I got him a... Uh, couple pop sockets that have planes on them like old fighter planes and stuff so he'll really he'll really like that but it's so cute that he wants it I hope he I'm gonna have to set it up for him I hope he can use it correctly <gasps> but he texts and you know it's funny my sister was saying that he texts he's a huge Yankees fan and my sister was saying that he that he texts her boyfriend Ruben during the games and Marla that's my sister said he said that he said like during the last game they were at Yankee Stadium and my dad was like will you text me a selfie of you and Ruben <laughs> and we both thought that was hysterical she thought it was hysterical I think it's hysterical my dad wants selfies oh that's so funny Hey, at least he's like kind of hip, you know. My dad's name is Fred. Um. See, well, this came off easier than the forehead. I'm definitely going to have to take a washcloth to the spots around my hair because I got it too close. I tend to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear like a, a band, like a scarf. But it's really nice because you can like put this mask close up to your eyes, you know, where you have like dark circles and stuff. And you know, it doesn't sting. Like I, it's really easy not to get into your eyes because it's thick. The mask is thick. Sorry. I'm trying so I don't block my face. I think that's good. I'm gonna have to take a washcloth, but. Oh, my face feels so smooth. really smooth so I hope my dad likes pop socket and I'll get him a little gift card to Macy's so he can go buy shorts actually my son got a gift card to Old Navy so we're gonna have to go to Old Navy and buy some clothes do you use his Brock oh his Brock's aunt, uh, accent well I'll preface I'll preface what I'm gonna say okay so I was like, I grew up in the Tri-Cities, Washington, and um, I have a friend, Jen, and 
I guess she called the house one night and I, I don't know where, I don't know where I was. My dad's kind of like, well, he was a lot like Archie Bunker, like grumpy and he's still kind of grumpy, but, um, so she called the, the house and she does it really good. She, but Jen does the accident really good, but she called the house and, um, in Washington state and he answered the phone and he was like, nah, I don't know where the hell she is. I can't really do it that good. I don't, but uh, but it was so funny, and she always brings that up to him. It's so funny. No, I don't know where the where the hell she is. I can't do it that well, but that's how my dad was. And then like he didn't even wait for her to talk. He just hung up. <laughs> that was my dad. <laughs> but actually, he softened a lot. Well, I don't know. He's still grumpy. Like, he's still a little grumpy. Did I do okay, Wendy? <laughs> oh, that is funny. He's a good, he's fun. I love my dad. My mom, uh, she passed in 2010. Of eight. She had ALS. Uh, that's the worst disease I've ever seen. Uh, so she's, she, you know, she's been gone a while. But, um... So, you know, it's good that my dad has moved on, has this girlfriend. I mean, they've been seeing each other for, you know, since 2011. So, long time. I think it's more like companionship. I don't know how much of it is, like, intimate. Nor do I want to think about that. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see. Do you see my dark circles? Let's see. They get lighter each time I use it, actually. It's just really nice on your skin. And my skin's really soft and my pores, my pores have gotten so good since I've actually started washing and using good products and washing it. Oh, he's from New York, he's not supposed to, well he's from the Bronx, not just from the York, he's from the Bronx. Bryant Street, 95th Avenue, Bryant Street. His street's not even there anymore. What do you guys think about the mask? I have a sample of the brightening mask. Wendy, would you like to try it? I can give that to you. Oh, I meant to get bring that when we had coffee. Skin's really soft. You get a light in those dark circles. I think my fight, my face feels brighter. Definitely. Just lightens everything up. I'm gonna have to wash the rest off with a washcloth because I didn't get it perfectly, but hey, no one's perfect, right? Oh, you wanna try it, Wendy? Cool, I'll bring it for you. There's a lot in those sample packets, but I don't know, what time is it? Oh, it's 7.30. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I gotta eat some dinner. But, well, it was nice chatting. I hope everyone's having a great Saturday night. Um, once again, uh, it's June 1st. Whoop, whoop. I cannot believe it's June. Um, my child's out of school. My child's gonna be an eighth grader. He turned 13. Time is moving too fast. It needs to slow down. So, uh, yeah, it's already June. I don't want the summer to end. I don't want it to go fast. Although my beach vacation is in August, but I don't know. I want time to slow down a little bit. So each month, you know, we have a kudos. This month uh, for June, the kudos is one of, one of our four masks, uh, a BB cream and an SPF uh, 25 finishing powder, which comes like in the brush. The brush is attached to the powder and you shake it and it comes out on the brush. Um, it's $88 and basically you are, get, you are getting the uh, powder for free because our masks are $49 and the BB cream is $39. So you're getting like a 30% deal. 
So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Message me. Uh, you guys have a great night. I'm rooting for St. Louis, the St. Louis Blues. Let's go. Um, thanks for hanging out. And you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.